Hi guys, Amory back again, and I'm back with an update video on my 1-6 scale Pulp Fiction custom figures by Rain Man. And if you've seen my previous video, if you haven't, I'll put a link in the description box. Um, I mentioned that I was working on a few things to uh, enhance these figures with some uh, extra accessories. And without further ado, let me show them to you guys. First off, I have some sandals here, or uh, should I say flip-flops, that were added onto the uh, bare feet that I originally had. Um, these were done by none other, none other than uh, Robbie Jones, or as we know him on the Sideshow Freaks forums. Uh, we call him uh, Robbie the Painter. And uh, this is a uh, certificate of authenticity that he printed out for everyone that ordered this amazing 1-6 scale briefcase to go along with our Pulp Fiction set here of uh, Vincent Jules. So if you recall from the movie, this briefcase was uh, vital to the, the story. And let me show you some of the details. You can see there is down to the numbers, which is 666. And the name brand there, Franzen. Just intricate details there with the working latches, the handle. There's some little stuff stuck on there. Okay, there. The material is like a leather material, so he captured all the details just amazingly. And let me see if I can open this for you guys. You can see the latches do work. Okay, this is going to be tricky with one hand, but let me uh, give it a try. And it does open up. But like in the movie, I can't show you what's inside, so we'll hold off on that for a little bit, and I'll get back to that. But, um, so other than uh, that, he did the uh, flip-flops for everyone that uh, wanted, wanted them done at no extra cost. So that was really great of Robbie, really generous of him to share his talents with everyone. And also included was this great 1-6 scale menu for uh, Jackrabbit Slims. And inside, you can see all the details there. This was actually done by another fellow Sideshow Freaks member by the name of Pitbull. So he made all these wonderful menus for those who are interested. And thanks to another wonderful Sideshow Freaks member by the name of uh, Neo Geo. He was generous enough to buy up a bunch of these and sent them out to everyone that also ordered Robbie's suitcase. So that was a really great gesture from both Pitbull and Neo Geo for doing that. And thanks again, guys. A really wonderful piece to go along with our Pulp Fiction figures. And other accessories that I want to mention, uh, Robbie included this 1-6 scale Big Kahuna Burger Bag, which goes great with the Rain Man 1-6 scale Big Kahuna Burger drink cup right here. So this was by Robbie the Painter, and uh, everything was shipped in this little, well, a bigger version of the bag. You can see here it's also numbered 1 out of 55. So a pretty big run as far as uh, custom items go. But there you see it. So really cool accessory to uh, go along with the uh, Pulp Fiction figures here. And, as you know, these are my uh, figures in the dark uh, clothing outfits, Vince and Jules. And in the background there, I have my Hitman version. Jules here has the sculpt that I reworked and did myself, as opposed to the Rain Man head sculpt, which is also wonderful in its own way. But I love the sculpt that I did, so, you know, I wanted to keep that available as well. In the background there, there's my little homage to uh, Quentin Tarantino. 
not sure uh, what I'm going to do with that, but he's just sitting there in the background, chilling. And I thought I'd share with you guys this thing. This was uh, something that Quentin signed for me years ago before, you know, he exploded, but right after Pulp Fiction. So, uh, yeah, I wanted to show that to you guys real quick. That's something I'm proud to own and is in the, the studio here, always looking over me and inspiring me. So that's kind of neat. And, um, yeah, if I can, let me try to open up the briefcase and show you what else is cool about this. Um, if you guys didn't already know what's inside the briefcase all this time was the Golden Idol from uh, Raiders of the Lost Ark. <laughs> no, there's a lot of, uh, what do you call it, speculation and uh, chat as to what is actually inside the uh, suitcase. But uh, let me show you what Robbie did. Uh, there were different versions of the suitcase for those that ordered, and this version has a light-up feature. There were some that just opened up, I believe, that didn't have the light-up feature, and then some that didn't open up at all if you just wanted something for uh, Jules to carry, and it would still have these amazing details. But uh, let me turn off the light. I can see if I can get this to work pretty good so eh, I guess we need a little bit more darkness or something but you know it would basically give off a nice glow probably if I uh, dim the lights even more you'd get that great yellow glow effect from uh, the light here and um, yep I think that's it in a nutshell guys if you haven't seen my previous video, you know, go ahead and look at that again. Like I said, I talked about these figures in that video. Maybe some of the details I did miss were like the uh, ring here. I don't know if I showed that off. His little pinky ring. Rain Man captured that really nicely. And um, his shoes I switched out because unfortunately he included these PVC shoes which weren't the greatest, so a lot of the collectors that did buy the set uh, opted to switch them out to something else, and I chose these shoes, which are like a real leather-type material with uh, actual shoelaces, so uh, I thought that looked a little bit better. And uh, for more information, check out my boy Darth Magnus, or Darth Grayskull's video. I'll put a link in the description to his, and he went over these figures as well and showed his love for Rain Man and for Pulp Fiction. So that's about it guys. Thanks again for watching. Just wanted to share this quick update. It's probably running a little bit longer than, than I intended, but uh, thought it was cool. So I uh, hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks again for watching. And keep on collecting guys. Peace.